president, members of the council, uh, my name is Nicholas Heenan. I'm an attorney at the law firm Darrow Everett. Uh, as you are well aware, uh, our office represents uh, the marshals in their effort to develop that economy. Uh, you've seen a parade of lawyers associated with this project over the various hearings and meetings that you've held. Uh, but the reason you see me today has to do with the uh, proposed tree preservation ordinance uh, that's on your docket for consideration. The reason I'm here is, in the event that that passes, uh, it is effectively a condemnation and constructive taking of my client's property uh, that only invites litigation. And it's litigation that we do not want to have. My client uh, remains committed to working with you, working with the city of East Providence, has tremendous respect for the tasks that you all have, uh, and would like to find a constructive way forward on this. When, the when it was the council's will that their initial proposal not move forward, we respect that decision, obviously. Uh, we disagree with it, but we respect that. Um, and we put forth the second plan. That second plan is a submitted master plan under the existing zoning ordinance uh, to utilize the property uh, to the best uses that they can under the laws of the city of East Providence. This ordinance is an effectively a proposal to end around their ability to utilize their property within the zoning ordinance that's been passed by uh, your predecessors uh, over the years. Um, and it's fundamentally unfair. I wear many hats in my career, and I've done the job of Mr. Marcello uh, for other municipalities. And I've confronted a very similar situation where, representing a town, a similar action was taken to change the zoning, to change the rules of the game when an application was already in. The result of that was a multi-million dollar lawsuit filed against the town that I represented. Uh, and we had to go to work to get the town out of it, protect the taxpayers. We don't want that to be the case here. But if this ordinance passes, it so substantially impairs the ability of the marshals to develop the property that they purchased uh, that it had, we have no choice but to defend our rights as property owners, and we will do that. Our hope is, uh, and we remain committed, that anybody who wants to sit down and try to work with us on this, we're happy to do so. We're happy to incorporate uh, the desires of the city. We're happy to find a way to preserve open space and the, uh, the nature of the surrounding neighborhoods. Um, we just hope that uh, we can continue to do that, because obviously if we go down the other path, that will no longer be the viable possibility. So uh, I urge you uh, to consider my comments prior to taking action over your process in considering that ordinance, uh, and hope that uh, we can find a way to work together and make this a great use for the city of East Providence and for all your constituents, something that generates money doesn't cost taxpayers money, but generates money that you can put into your parks and your schools and the other important jobs that you have to attend to. So, uh, thank you for your time and your consideration. I have great respect for the job that you have to do, uh, and hope we can work together. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Heyman. Um, I would just like to make one request, if possible. Um, I, I was just notified that you coming down to Linder or on my way here uh, to the meeting. And, uh, I would mind personally talk to your client or yourself or whomever to at least hold the stop any other party you know, from this point forward. So I would be more than happy to reach out to whomever I need to reach out. And if we could just you know, stop the cutting of the trees at this point in time so we can get some dialogue with respect to this. I don't want to have, right now, we don't, I don't want to have an exchange going back and forth, but at least get some dialogue going back and forth so we can come to some um, workable solution. I know they're watching, uh, Mr. President, but I will take that back to them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they can come to a resolution. Thank you, sir. Council President, I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted the council to be aware that I did have a communication with uh, Mr. Darrow earlier, I think yesterday, uh, when the doc, when the doc, this doc item was discussed. Um, he, he indicated to me that uh, the marshals are willing and Mr. Solicitor, do you want to approach the podium? Uh, the marshals are willing, and um, obviously, uh, because of the 
introduction of the ordinance that sets a little bit of a time frame in, 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 in play um, in order to protect their rights. They felt they needed to at least establish their rights on the property, but obviously um, they're willing to work with us. They have no intention, according to Mr. Darrow, I have no reason to believe he's not telling the city the truth because he has an obligation to deal with us in good faith as well. That there's no, they have no intention of clear cutting that property. But in, in light of the ordinance that was introduced, they felt they had no choice but to at least put this item on the docket and then to move forward with at least the beginning of tree cutting before the ordinance passed. So in, in many ways, we can get talk to the ordinance when we get to it, but in many ways, uh, there's a time frame between when an ordinance is introduced and when it becomes effective. And right now, we're in a no man's land, and so in many ways, the ordinance would have the opposite effect. It would force them, basically, to clear cut those trees to protect their rights. Because they do believe this is a combination of their property. We can talk about that when we get there. So, but having having spoken to them uh, and speak, sp spoken to Mr. Darrow, I, and, and I know Mr. Heeman, and uh, I don't do represent anything here. Um, it is obviously uh, the city needs to work in good faith with the marshals as well, whether it's a current plan that's on the table or a future plan that the council may consider. <coughs> so there's a benefit, a uh, cost benefit for, for both sides at this point. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Solicitor. I just think it's feasible for both parties here that we have come to some, uh, come to the table at least for for the present to hold with the trees, and then we could pursue conversations. Uh, but if, if your client could just stop at this point in time, we would appreciate that. Uh, 